Hello everybody, this is Eli, and today I'm going to be making this awesome, ginormous crayon that also has a secret storage in the bottom. Let's get started. So I just started with these scrap crayons that my sister gave me, and actually before this I put them in the freezer for a, like a couple days so that the wrappers would come off easier. It helped a little bit, but um, I still just had to scrape them off, the wrappers off and everything. But I just made a little bin of them. And I used about 100 crayons, or probably less than that, probably about 70. And once all those were de-wrapped, I used this little crucible, which was just a old propane tank that I just cut open. And I just used a blowtorch and I just melted the crayons so that they were liquid. And then I just poured them in this glass bottle. And I tried to make layers, which I did color by color. So I started with green and then did kind of the reddish orange ones and they just kept on layering but um overall they kind of all mixed together so it really wasn't worth it but it made a little bit of a difference and i would say try to do this in a well ventilated area it was really fun to do though there's a lot of flames I just kept on layering uh, the crayons. So I finally melted all my crayons and filled that bottle basically all the way up. So um, the bottle was fit, uh, full, but I had a huge mess, so that was the downside. But to clean off the crayons off of my work bench, I just heated up uh, the wax and just wiped it off. So, pretty easy cleanup. And then, um, the wax has been drying for about four days, so it's completely cured and it's completely solid. So, since I just used this old bottle, I could just break it up to get the blank out. So, I just put it on this rag and then just start smashing it with a hammer, basically. And it worked really good. I did put a glove on just in case so I wouldn't get cut. So now I have a crayon bowl blank. So as you can see, the next step is to turn it on the wood lathe. I had to put my, uh, uh, my live center in because I had a chuck in my live center. Well, then once I had everything together, I just chucked up the blank into my chuck and tightened the tailstock onto the crayon. I didn't tighten it too tight because I didn't want it to break or anything. So I just did it tight enough so it would hold on there. And I did use an apron, which was a really good idea actually because crayon went everywhere. But I did find something out. I found out that uh, crayon is my new favorite material to turn on the wood lathe. It's so soft and it just 
I, it's just awesome. It's not the best to clean up, but it's so fun to turn and so, it's just a great beginner material. So if you're a beginner, you could use crayon. <laughs> so if you haven't tried crayon on your wood lathe yet, I would definitely recommend it because it's very oddly satisfying and very fun to turn. And your hands and arms and your whole body gets covered with this stuff. It's so funny. So as you can see, I had a pretty big mess to clean up. But now you can see that the blank is basically round and I can start making the point for the crayon. So I just got one of the crayons that was left in the bin, and I just copied it basically. But a crayon's really a really simple shape. All it is is just a round cylinder with a tapered end on one end. So that's all I did. I just used my carbide, my flat carbide bit tool to just make a point onto it. And as you can see, the point is a little bit more colorful than the whole entire um, blank. It's because after a couple days, you'll notice that the crayons will cool and it will sink and will make a hole in the middle of the blank. So what I did, I mixed up some more, I melted some more crayons and poured them in. And actually, instead of stirring them together, I just poured them on top of each other. So that's why it looks so cool on the top. And then I, once I took the blank off the lathe, I didn't show that, but all I did was just unchuck it. I took this one inch Forstner bit and I chucked it up into the drill press and put the crayon blank, well the whole the crayon into a vise with a towel and drilled about three a three inch hole into the crayon. So I went really deep into it. So as you can see, I measured the hole by uh, sticking a sharpie in the hole and then measuring the sharpie, and it was about three inches long. So as you can see where the chuck was holding onto the crayon, it's a little bit fatter because I chiseled away on the other part of the uh, crayon. So I just went to the uh, sander and just sanded that part down so it'd be flush with the whole entire crayon. Sandpaper on this disc sander is about 60 grit, so it ate up the crown pretty fast. And to finish it off, I went to a um, spindle sander, which um, it, um, I came back over to the belt sander, and it was about 200 grit, 220. And I will say that the crayon basically ruins the um, the sandpaper, so I just did it in one little corner. And anyway, we're getting a new uh, belt on our belt sander, so I just wanted to mention that if you do make one. <laughs> and as you can see, I just had the, this one inch dowel, and I made it a little bit tapered on one end so that it would fit into the hole perfectly and just be pretty snug. And my idea was just to have this plug that would go in the bottom of the crayon and then to take the plug out, you'd use a magnet. So what I did, I just drilled, I punched a hole in the exact center of this piece of dowel, pre-drilled and then drilled with the right size drill bit that I was gonna use to fit this magnet in. 
by the way, it was a Neodymium N52 er, rare earth magnet. They were uh, 7 sixteenths by 1 quarter inch. So once it fit in there uh, pretty snug, I just had to tap it in with a hammer. And also to uh, have it sit in there extra good, I used some CA glue. I went to go get the CA glue. As you can see, there my CA glue is. I just put a drop in the uh, hole and then just stuck the magnet in and it held it in perfectly. And as you can see, it just pulls out perfectly. And this little thing needed a little bit more sanding because it was kind of rough. So I just finished the sanding. Feel the air getting colder I know something's missing here On the top I just used this uh, silver paint to just spray paint the um, top of it so it looked nicer and blended with the magnet. And then while that was drying I just kind of uh, sanded the crayon which I just did it with a piece of paper because it's a crayon and it will just rub off. And while that uh, thing was drying, I went home and I printed out this uh, template of a crayon logo and then I put Eli's Workshop on the bottom. So I just started cutting the paper to the white, right width of the um, crayon so that this would be basically a crayon wrapper. And to hold it on, I just used some um, Elmer's School Glue, a, st a glue stick and it held it on really nicely. And once that was done, I needed a kind of a knob that would have a magnet in the bottom so that you could take the plug out of the crayon. Instead of just using a magnet, I wanted kind of a knob that you could just hold. So I used a piece of walnut in my wood lathe and I just kind of made, I just came up with this shape. It's kind of a little um, ball. I put a couple lines in it and then sanded it. And I also drilled a hole in the bottom for the magnet. And then I just finished it off with lacquer. And once I parted that off, um, the top was a little bit rough because of the saw. So I just used some sandpaper and sanded the top. And that was the final step. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. It was really fun uh, making and I learned lots of new stuff because I've really never used crayons in the workshop and I actually found out I love using crayons in the workshop because they're so fun to uh, work with because they're so moldable and pliable and just they cut really easily. So um, it works really great. You can fit money in it perfectly. Um, the magnet system, the little drawer works way better than I thought it would. It just slides right in and then the magnet just pulls it right out perfectly. As I demonstrated, it works great and um, it's very, it hides it really great. If you just uh, picked up the crayon, you wouldn't notice that it had a little um, safe in it. So, works great. And also the crayon draws, so it's two in one.